All right, folks, uh, today I want to show you how you can control the parameters on your TR8 via MIDI from Ableton Live. Um, uh, for this, I have here set up an audio track where I'm basically monitoring my TR8 and recording the signal. Then I have a MIDI channel here set up from which I'm going to send MIDI information to TR8. Um, I have an Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 audio interface and I'm connecting a MIDI cable from the MIDI out of my audio interface into the MIDI in slot of the TR8. So I'm communicating via a 5-pin DIN MIDI cable, not USB. So next thing is to set up the routing here. So since I'm sending MIDI from uh, the interface, I'm going to select my audio interface and note that by default the TR8 uh, channel is MIDI channel 10. So you have to set this to channel 10 in order for, uh, for this to be able to communicate with your TR8. Um, now what I want to do is I would like to show you this little thing. Um, basically this shows all the parameters that can be automated via MIDI and uh, the corresponding MIDI CC numbers. So I'm going to put up a link in the description of the video where you can download this image. And basically these are the yeah knobs that you can uh, tweak via MIDI. What I want to do, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, automate the tune of the hand clap. So I'm going to focus on CC number 58. For this, uh, let me just show you the basic beat that I have going, first of all. Basically a simple kick and uh, clap. So, and here I want to just modulate the tune of the clap. So for that I'm going to create a clip by double clicking, then I'm going to go over here into the envelope, I had it already open. And what I'm going to do is, since we saw that MIDI CC number for the tune of the clap was 58, I'm going to scroll down to 58, and then I'm going to just draw in some automation here. You don't hear anything because I'm not launching the clip yet, but now I will and let's see what's happening. You see? High low. Make it higher. Just a bit lower. Okay, let's change the the tune of the kick. So kick is on channel yeah, CC twenty. So same thing we go to Twenty, and then I just draw. Not bad, huh? Let me just uh, let me let's do some toms just for the fun, fun of it. Um. So high toms. So let's uh, yeah, let's tweak it to fifty two. So let's go to fifty two and let's just fucking There's there are some interesting possibilities here and you can do this by uh, your DAW, so in this case Ableton. You can use an external sequencer like an octatrack or an analog rhythm or whatever, an MPC, and you can trigger these parameters. Anyway, I'm going to create also another video showing how you can do the same thing in Logic. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please just comment under the video.